Hello, good day, everyone. I'm good news from the Keynes Farm and Industry. Uh, to, today, we want to continue our discussion on a housing system. And in case you are just joining us, I want you to understand that a housing system in snake farming uh, play a very, a very important role if you'll be successful or, or not. It depends on the housing system you choose to adopt. Okay, we we have intensive, we have extensive. The intensive is made up of wood pens, tire pens, and concrete pens. So these are what made up the intensive. We actually started with wood pen before we move into concrete pens. Okay, so it was completely uh, the journey was completely feed up with mortality. I think we have no choice, we made more research, because when we come into snake farming, the consultants that were around that time only focus on intensive system. They only teach extensive system. They condemn extensive system. They make us not to have reasons not to, to, to consider extensive system. But when mortality hits very hard on us, it was then we may begin to make findings and discover that the extensive system was very uh, completely better than the intensive system. They don't know how to set up the extensive system. That was why they focus on intensive and based on greed on their side also. Because after farm set up in extensive system and planting, you have to wait for three to four months before stocking. So they, they want to stock after farm set up. You get me? Because the intensive system, if you set up the farm today, you can stock the farm tomorrow. So that was the reason, and that is still the reason it, it's still trading today. Okay? Now, why do we focus on extensive system now? Because the extensive system is majorly a free race system uh, where you allow the snakes to move around, do things the way they like, just like I've seen behind me here. So we have planted crops. Then they can is a complete greenhouse setup where the crop the snakes have room to move around and all of that. Why do we prefer extensive over intensive? When it comes to snake farming, a whole lot of uh, errors have all feed up the process. Snake farming was actually copied from Europe. Okay, because the Europeans started uh, farming a particular species of snail or the family of snail we call helix uh, helixidae we have helispasa uh, helispomatia and among others that is a garden snail you get me and garden snail lives on plant surface just like uh i mean they live on plant surface they can stay on surface of anything and survive so they started with intensive system and they copied the intensive system. But the kind of farm, the kind of snail we rear in Africa, the family of snail we have here, is not helicide, it's ashatinide. And this ashatinide is made up of two types of snail. We have forest, we have garden snails. We'll not be going into de deep details because next month we'll be going fully into identification of uh, snails and all of that. So now the forest snail we rear, leaves on that plant because too much cold kills them, too much wind kills them, dry wind kills them, too much heat kills them. So they, they, they spend most of their life on that plant, feeding on dead life and decaying plant. So in order for them to survive, you have to provide this kind of environment for them which you are seeing behind me here. And this is the kind of environment that the greenhouse, the extensive system provide. Okay, now we're gonna be breaking this uh, training, to, this is our discussion today, across three different uh, sessions, which we already talked about in our previous video, uh, the theory levels in snake farming, the low level, the medium level, and the high level. Okay, we're gonna be breaking this housing system across this TV line. But before I continue, if you want to be trained on uh, pig farming, snail, uh, rabbit farming, and 
you will see a link on you see a link on this video or on this post you see a, a whatsapp link click on the link so you can join the group because the training is starting the on the training is free of okay. this month that is how we contribute our own quarter to humanity all right now back to what we are saying on social media we have a whole lot of uh stories which are not true about snake farm we hear some persons who come from a very poor background who also have a poor mindset uh telling people that uh, you can start snake farming with five thousand with no money at all ten thousand twenty thousand fifty thousand hundred thousand I make reasonable amount of profit from it within the space of 12 months. These are stories cooked up by marketers and fake consultants just to deceive Nigeria investors. Okay? Snail farm, except it's not the type of snail farm we are doing. Maybe there's another one they are talking about. Agriculture is capital intensive. I want you to know. Agriculture in general demands high amount of capital to invest and make real profit from it. Uh, when I was growing, my mom was into cassava production. They never make reasonable amount of money from it. It was when I come into agriculture and I discover why it was not witchcraft. In order for you to make reasonable amount of money from agriculture you have to invest big because the same energy it takes to manage snake farm in two plots it takes the same energy to manage half plot snake farming okay i don't know if you understand that if one staff can manage half plot which is 50 feet by 50 feet. That same one, uh, one staff can manage to plot. So me, for instance, I have two plots and you have half plots. You will pay your staff, I will pay my staff. I will make times three. And my staff will be doing times three work of what your staff is doing. I don't know if you understand. The cost of production will drop when, you're in, when your investment is big. And then the return we appreciate. So, these are reasons most people who invest more in agriculture end up in poverty. Okay? Going across the three different lines, we've, I've said it the other time. If you are among those at the low level, you don't have to be in a hurry to make profit. Three years, don't even market. That, that is just my only advice to you. Now, back to our discussion, which is the housing system. I'm not speaking for uh, intensive. I'm only speaking for the extensive, the greenhouse. If, for instance, uh, you want to set up your own farm, you get me now, from one millionaire below investment in, the, in snake farming, fall under the low level. So at this stage, you can actually uh, set up the farm yourself just to cut down the cost of production. Because the materials we use to set up the greenhouse is uh, non-air and water resistance material. Just like the shade net you are seeing here. When it rains, it goes through. You get me now? That's why we don't wet during rainy season. If you don't have much, if you don't have much, like you have 200,000 below, you can actually make use of wood pens. Because at the low level, your worries are not that too big. You are not even thinking of marketing now. It's just how your farm will increase. Okay? Because... You, you can start with you even if you don't have access to the shade net you can make use of any other uh non uh what uh, water resistance and air non water and air resistance material 
because at this time you are open for expansion. You're going to be expanding your farm. If you don't have land at this time, there's no problem. You can actually rent a land. You can discuss with your landlord, give you a certain space. You pay for rent. So this is why I don't know where where on how they are saying that with 20,000, with 10,000, you can start up a snail farm. Because if you don't have the land yet, you will need to rent a land. You get me now. Then, get, you can start with wood if you don't have the money to get, get governized. Okay? But the only thing you have to watch out for is that uh, termites will destroy the wood in no time. Since the wood is exposed to rain, it will get rot in no time. So these are the disadvantage of using wood. That's why you don't see us preach. We don't use wood and we don't advise anybody. But if you don't have too much fun, you can go into that. Now, knowing fully where that your challenge comes in a small quantity. Anything that rises up within the farm, you can manage it. It can be contained because the farm is not big. Before it leads to high mortality. It can be contained. You get me? As the time progresses, you move into setting up a standard house. Because within the space of eight months, for instance, you would have gathered enough fund. Then you move into setting up a standard greenhouse. You move into setting up a standard greenhouse. Then call a professional to set it up for you. Okay, and for those of you at the medium level, the very middle level, at this time, you don't need to give room for greed. Because what you are setting up at this time is a company. Okay? It's no longer the normal farm you, 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 you normally see on social media. Because snail farm is a high-paying business and the return appreciates annually. So any mistake made now, now we cripple that company of yours. Okay, this time you don't need to listen to how to set up a farm. Yeah, you don't need those information now. Let me go to, uh, what's the name, uh, YouTube, to see how they set up farm. Let me go to this one, to see how they do this one. No, at this time, you don't allow greed push you to that extent. Get a professional to do the work for you. Because any mistake made now, the impact on your farm will be times 10 higher than the impact on the, those at the low level. So that's why at this stage, because we have soil preparation, uh, you got to set up the farm in such a way that it can resist uh, insect invasion. You get me? So, what those of you at the very, very high level. This time, you don't need advice to get a professional. This time, you are mandated to get a professional. It is also good for you to know that one of the reasons snail farm in Nigeria taking a one step forward and taking 10 steps backward is because of the consultants who are lying to the intending farmers and also the intending farmers who have allowed greed into them want to do everything themselves. Any mistake made at this level, we shut down the farm between the space of 12 months. That is the reason you see most farms shutting down. Any mistake made at this level, I repeat, we shut down the farm within the space of 12 months. You see, that same thing that will happen to those at the low level, they will survive it. If it happens to your farm, you will not survive it. Snake eating insect. Now penetrate your farm. Knowing fully well that they don't have predator within your farm, they will breed and multiply fast. So, each day you're going to be witnessing high mortality until they finish all the snakes in your farm. But if this happen in the uh, to those at the low level, whose farm is just about 15 feet by 15 feet, we can do what is called manual picking. 
comb the farm. The farm is not too big. You can dedicate seven days to that. But you can't do that because your farm is massive. We are looking at three plots, four plots, one plot, two plots. You can't do that. There's no way that can be done. This is why you ought to be very, very careful in handling your construction. Okay? Because we are looking at an investment that is above 5 million here. Now, there's someone, uh, one lady contacted me from uh, London that she saw my video online that should be six months ago. Uh, she have a farm in my state, uh, those states, Benin to be precise. And I now asked her to send me the video of the farm. She sent me, it was still, we were just completing the last phase of the work. I, I called her and I asked, who is, who set up the farm for you? She said she didn't contact anybody. She just watched you, videos on YouTube and then she contacted uh, workers and they came and she told them what to do. Wow, you can see, I try advising her that that farm will shut down in no time. She don't want to listen. Yeah, everything I've closed down now and she lost more than five million. Please, pay listing and listing very well, please. I'm not happy seeing people losing money in Snare Farm. Trying to secure 500,000 can make you lose two millionaires. Okay? So, for this not to happen, like for instance, if butterfly or caterpillar find its way into your farm, find its way into your farm, because your farm is big and massive, you might not notice it on time. They must have spread far and wide before you will notice. Because to, you will be thinking that it is the smaller snake that is feeding on the crop, that is feeding on the vegetables. Before you will notice, the damage done to the crops in your farm will be beyond repair. And you are not allowed to spray insecticide. There is no way you can do manual picking. This will shut down that farm. in no time. And that battle will be an endless one. And it's not going to be a win on your side. If this happened to the, those at the low level, who can handle it within the space of a week. Your only advantage here over those at the medium level and at the low level is that the cost of your production will be far, far lower than those at the low level and those at the medium level. And you will be making time steady of what they are making. So if they make what you are making in the space of three years, and you make that same thing in the space of one year, if they look the cost of your production that one year and the cost of their production in three years, yours will be times four lower than theirs. Four times lower than theirs. So that's just the only advantage. But any other mistake made here will be very difficult to manage. So please, get a professional. Don't just open your farm. Open your farm to any professional to, to set up. Listen to the professional. Well, test the soundness of their knowledge. The depth of their knowledge. How sound are they? Not just to set up farm, can then help you manage the farm. So, when you now discover that they can, then handle your project to them. Thank you very much. I have a wonderful day ahead. I'm Good News Ugiagbe from the King's Farm and Industry. <laughs>